carnival was organised by the management committee and one of their first tasks was to select a carnival queen. The judges with the difficult job of selecting the queen were Mr. Peter Rodriguez, Miss Susan Brett, Mr. Leslie Huxfield and Mr. Kenneth Roach. The carnival queen for 1967 was Ella Grant. And the maids were Valerie Butler and Sue Patterson. Saturday 27th of May, a week to go to Carnival Day, and Mr Eric Lewis, Treasurer of the Carnival Committee, supervised the arrival of Mr Jeff Plumpton and company for the ceremony of the installation of the King of Mirth. His Worship the Mayor, Alderman Leslie Ford, presented the key of the town to the 1967 King of Mirth, and then became the first victim to be knighted. Local scouts were willing helpers at the publicity stall in the marketplace. produced by the Nuneaton Pantomime and Review Society under the direction of Mrs. Beryl Millington.
The highlight of the evening was the crowning of the Carnival Queen by the Mayor. Members of Nuneaton Ladies Circle presented their cheque to Mrs Yvonne Reddy, Secretary of the Carnival Committee. The athletics meeting, organised by the Nuneaton Harriers, was a credit to Mr Jack Davis, who, with the Carnival Committee, had hoped for a better attendance by the general public. Another event was the baby show held in Riversley Park. The show was organised by Dr G Dyson and his staff and prizes were presented by Alderman Reg Haddon, Chairman of the Carnival Committee. More of the week's events were the Swimming Gala, organised by Mr E. Pittam of the Nuneaton Swimming Club, and the Carnival Ball, organised by Mr A. Lowe of Courtall Social Club. During Carnival Week, many people were preparing their entries for the procession. This one was entered by a local scout group. Carnival Day, and all the entries for the procession assembled at Caldwell, ready to be judged.
organization of the procession proved very successful, and much credit was due to Mr. Fred Sutton, members of the Junior Chamber of Commerce, and others who worked as marshals. <laughs> Great fun was had by all on the procession, but this was not as funny as it looks, and the committee deprecates this type of behaviour which causes embarrassment to spectators and hopes that it will not recur in future carnivals. were presented by the mayor who along with Mr Huckfield had taken part in the judging earlier in the day.
The field gala, organised by Mr Bob Bembridge and his assistant Mr Bill Newell, provided some spectacular entertainment during the afternoon. Stephen Funfair. Monday, the task of counting the size that the procession collection had exceeded the pound target. The total profit by all carnival events exceeded two thousand pounds, and of this, six hundred pounds bought a special vehicle for the physically handicapped. £150 hospital telephone trolleys, £500 to the Mayor's Appeal Fund for the Disabled, £600 to the League of Friends, and £150 to the Catholic Handicapped Children's Fellowship. 